is uh, Paul McCartney, Maybe I'm Amazed. A lot of requests for that one. Uh, EasyPianoLessons at Yahoo.com is the place to send your requests and comments. And uh, if anybody's having trouble uh, regist registering for the website, just send me an email and bypass all that, and I'll just send you the link for it. Again, it's EasyPianoLessons at Yahoo.com. I'll just send you a link, and then you can look at all the free videos. Uh, if you want to support uh, when I'm doing all these videos, you can uh, check out the Easy Piano Lesson series on the website. Uh, if not, then you're welcome to all the free ones, of course. Um, <clears throat> and I just want to uh, tell everybody thanks. Uh, we made, because of you guys, uh, we made this book, uh, YouTube for Dummies. Uh, we're actually in, on, in the book. On page uh, 271 and 272, there's a little article about... Uh, the uh, channel on YouTube. So thanks to all you guys. That's kind of neat to be in a, a book that's going to be uh, distributed around the world. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and learn this. Paul McCartney song. Uh, great tune. Um, we're going to start with uh, right hand on an A chord. So we have C sharp in the middle of the piano with an A below that and an E below that. Okay? That makes an A chord. We're going to have an A octave in the left hand. I know I just have one a uh, letter written there, but let's do an octave. So thumb on A here, and a thumb on uh, really low A. So really low here. And what we're going to do, I'll save some space. We're going to go together, and then right hand, and then left hand. So I just put quotes there. So you're going to play, you know, just what you did right there. So together here, then you wait a beat, and then you play the right hand again, and then you play the left hand again. So that first measure is... Do that pattern for each of this each of these boxes on the intro. Let's go to the next chord. We have a D above middle C with an A below that, with a D below that. If you can't reach the octave, just play the top part and leave the bottom D out. Okay, left hand's moving lower to an F sharp octave. So this black key right here is an F sharp. Put your thumb on it. And then we're going to play an octave. So put your pinky on a low F sharp down here and do the same pattern. Play it together, right, left. Okay, together, right, left. Next box we have a D minor chord. So D above middle C with an A below that, with an F below that. Uh, left hand moves to an F natural now. So let's get off the black key, move to an F here on the thumb, F on the pinky. Play it together, and then right, left. Okay, and then we still have the D on the right hand with a B below that, and a G below that and uh, an E octave on the left hand, so moving even lower. So E on the thumb, E on the pinky, together, right, left. And then here we're just going to play an A chord blocked. Here, so we have an E above middle C, with a C sharp below that, with an A below that. A octave on the left hand, here's the A on the thumb, A on the pinky. Just play it once, and then it kind of just arpeggiates it. I've heard several different uh, versions of it. So what you can do is just play this, uh, oop, <laughs> play that all together. Let me fix that. <clears throat> for those of you who do printouts of these. I think some of you are just uh, saving the, the screen and then printing it out. I guess that will work. But you just play this all together. And then what I'm going to do is add a pinky A up here. See that A? So now I have four notes in the right hand and still the A off in the left hand. And I'm just going to roll it up from bottom to top. So bottom note, thumb, and then the right hand slowly like that. So play it all together to begin with. And then roll it up. All right, so let me do the whole intro. Here we go. Second box. Third. And then right here. And then roll it up. Okay, and then right here after the double bar, we start the verse, the singing. Lots of uh, neat chords here. Uh, we have D above middle C. B flat below that, F below that, left hand's on a B flat octave. So B flat on the thumb here, B flat on the pinky. And uh, Paul McCartney and, and John Lennon, whenever they play piano parts, they tend to do this right left thing. And I think that's because uh, they're mainly guitar players and you're used to going da, 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 down, up, down, up when you're strumming. And a lot of their piano parts tend to do that. So. Uh, <clears throat> What we're going to do is play this together. So the B flat chord in the right hand with the left hand octave together. And then we're going to go left, right, left. 
and it's all eighth notes. Bum, 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 bum. So, see, so, maybe I'm amazed. And so, we go right to this box up here. We're going to do the same pattern. So, the verse starts here, and here's the second uh, measure, or second chord. We're going to have an F chord. Middle C with an A below that, F below that, left hands on an A octave. So, A to the A pinky. Now, do this pattern here. Okay, so together, left, right, left. Moving on, we have a C chord, G above middle C, E, middle C, left hands on a C octave right here, and do the pattern. Together, left, right, left. Moving on, keep the G on the top, change that to a D, B below that. Left hand's going to stay on a C octave. Now, I've heard a version where he puts this C and makes it a G. But uh, the one that's most popular, I think he stays on the, the left hand C octave there. It kind of sounds dissonant, you know, but that's, that's the way he does it on the video. So uh, do the pattern together, left, right, left. And i got to hurry here. Then we go back to D, B flat, F. Same chord we had here. So do the same thing for this box that we did right here. Okay, and then this chord is the same as this one. So do the same thing. All right, now on this one, we're going to do the C chord, G, E, C, with the C octave. But we're just going to go, well, yeah, we, we do it the same way. Together, left, right, or actually not all the way you do. Together, left, right, and instead of the last left hand, we're going to do this. That's called a chromatic scale. Got to hurry. Uh, so we start with a C here, low C, play every note black or white, all the way up till you get to... B flat, and then we're going to come back to here. Okay? So, da, 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 da. I put a 10 because you play 10 notes all together, including the C. And then we go back to here. Do the same thing. And I'm, I'm repeating. I went back to here after this box. So I'm up here. And then now this box. Now the second time through, he does do a G. So do a G the second time. Right here on this box here. So the second time through, I only repeat, do a G on the left hand. Continuing. Okay, so we just did that box. Now skip from here, because we're on the second time through. Skip over, and we'll finish right here. And this is Okay, so we have uh, E flat above middle C with a middle C, A flat below that. Left hand's on an A flat octave. Do the pattern, together, left, right, left, and then right here, E flat, B flat, G, left hands on a G octave, together, left, right, left, and then we have uh, right hand on a C chord, G, E, C, and then a C octave on the left hand. So this last part is, uh, maybe it's the way, or maybe I'm amazed at the way I really need you. Okay, so uh, I don't really have time to play through it again, so... I hope you enjoy that.